I approve this message. is awesome somebody sent this down to me i don't know who there wasn't anything in the packet apart from this and i thought that was absolutely awesome um if you don't know why jimmy was in there well because jimmy has a very similar uh font i think actually it's probably the same font um as this and he kind of goes around spraying things uh with his stencil um so i had to get jimmy's approval to use it really well i didn't but it was the polite thing to do Cheers, Jimmy. Maybe you sent it down to me. But whoever sent this down, thanks so much. It is so cool. I really love it. I'm going to have some fun spraying this around my shop. So sorry I haven't done any waffles recently. Um, I have been so busy and uh, Maker Central obviously took over quite a lot of my time. And uh, it was an absolutely fantastic show. Um, don't worry, I am not going to go on too much about Makers Central because I know you're probably sick to death of me talking about it. But um, before I do, I had a bit of a beard trim and it's, it's a little bit too short for my likings. kind of like it a little bit more bushy. Anyway, now I've got the beard thing out of the way. Makers Central, it was an absolutely, was more than I probably could have imagined. And the thing is, I couldn't have really done it without everyone's support. We had so much support from makers. If you're one of those makers that came down, you know, from wherever, France, Spain, had an email the other day from a guy called, uh, that came from Hong Kong, you know, Australia, the US. If you're one of those, I really just want to say thanks so much for your support on this show. It really wouldn't have been the same without every single one of you showing up. I'm not going to name names because I'm bound to forget stuff. And that's something that you shouldn't do, is name names. Because if you're like me, you always forget one, or two, or three. So I just want to say thanks so much, because not, not just the makers, but all the companies that supported us. I mean, nobody knew whether or not this show was going to turn out to be good or not. Um, but loads of you took a punt on it. And that was really overwhelming for us, for you guys to you know, take a punt. We didn't know whether or not the date was gonna be the right date, whether that weekend was gonna be the right weekend, whether or not people were gonna come or not. I don't know, it was just obviously, we worked really hard on trying to get people there. And we ended up with around about 6,000 people coming through the door throughout the weekend, which was pretty awesome. I was pretty rushed off my feet. So I wanted to also apologize for some of those people that came up to me and sort of wanted to have a quick chat with me. Um, if I may have seemed a bit off, um, it, I wasn't being off. I was just completely in this bubble um, and I just didn't really know what was going on. I know I met loads of people, shook loads of hands um, and took loads of photos and things, but I just wanted to say, I know that I felt in myself that, um, that there was kind of like, I, I don't know, I just kind of got these people coming up to me saying, hi Nick, you know, how you doing? Great to meet you, and thought, which is absolutely amazing. I, I kind of felt that I almost didn't give you enough time, um, which obviously was, made me feel a little bit sort of disappointed in myself, um, because obviously without you guys, you know, I wouldn't be here. So um, I just wanted to say sorry if you kind of felt that from me. Um, you probably, I don't know if you did or not, but I just kind of felt that I should have had a little bit more time on my hands. Whereas like people like, you know, Jimmy, Adresta and Alex Steele, you know, they, they stood there in this, uh, and they had this line behind them. Um, and they were just talking to people and many other makers were doing the same thing. You know, uh, Peter Brown and, and, and say many others, but they were obviously spending a lot of time with the people there. And um, I tried to, but because I was part of the making of the show, I was kind of being pulled, pulled? Pulled. I was being pulled from pillar to post um, and trying to make sure things were working for the exhibitors and the, and the people coming in and we had radio calls going oh we need to check this this doesn't work that doesn't work we need to check do this do that so I was kind of involved quite heavily and um, I didn't actually really get to see half of the show so I was gutted really but I nevertheless I had an amazing time I met some seriously I met some really cool people made some really great friends you know and uh that is what it's all about really and 
and the amount of families and kids that came through the door was just overwhelming. I had a couple of women come up to me saying, Nick, I just want to say thanks because normally on a show like this, I'd normally stay at home, you know, because it's not really for me. Um, but this show was for me as well as it was for my husband and my children. And it was a family event. And that's what I really wanted to create. And that gave me goosebumps. 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 That gave me goosebumps all over. Um, so that is what I really loved about it. It brought everyone together from all over the world. And it didn't matter. You know, it wasn't a show just specifically for that one person and that one man or that one woman or that one child. It was for everyone. And, and although there was a few little things that we didn't get right, I, I appreciate that and I apologise for those small errors. There may have been big errors, I don't know. But we get those right again if we do the show again. There's no real official announcements yet whether or not we're going to do it, but uh, I think I would like to do it, but we're still kind of going over the motions as to what, you know, should we, should we not, when, where, do you want it, do the exhibitors want it, you know, but will the people come again? And we're just checking those kind of things and seeing, because obviously I want to make it, if I do this again, I want to make it bigger and better. <laughs> you know me. So um, that's my kind of like thoughts. I just wanted to give you, I uh, say a short speech on Make Essential. It's now eight minutes in and I haven't actually done anything of the video that I wanted to do yet. Um, so this may well have to be cut into two parts. So um, I might do that. So again, I just want to say thanks so much. It was a great show. There's loads of videos out there if you haven't seen them. Just type in Maker Central on YouTube and tons and tons of them come up from different aspects of people, you know, what they saw and how they thought of the show went. And obviously I did a little vlog as well, uh, which, you know, I put up last week, I think. So yeah, it was so cool. So I shall keep you updated to see whether or not we do this again. I will announce it on my channel, obviously. Uh, and we'll announce it all over the place if we do do it next year. For those of you that didn't come or would like to come again. Because uh, obviously we're going to want your feedback as well. We obviously need everyone's help again. Because again, it is about all of the community pulling together. And, um, you know, and, and making something like this. And that's what we've managed to do this time round. You know, again, it, it wasn't all me. It wasn't all me and my team. It was everybody that pitched in. You know, even from... All of you guys and girls, um, you know, mentioning it on your channel or talking to your friends about it. You know, whatever you did, it made a difference. So thanks. Anyway, enough waffling about Maker Central. Um, I have got so much post here. So much. I've, I'm really kind of like going. I know there's a lot of chess pieces in here because we've got this chess sort of challenge that we did a little while ago. Uh, which I haven't decided what we're going to do yet, but I'm still collecting the pieces in. Haven't had the chess board in yet, because again, that's, you know, a bit of a challenge as well. Um, so we were going to put the logos on each chess square, but I think that's proving to be pretty hard because most people's logos or a lot of the logos aren't quite the quality of, that you need to actually engrave them into the um, chess boards. So I think it's easier for the guy who's offered to do this chessboard to put everyone's name on it. So it'll either be a channel name or your name. So, you know, it'll either say, I don't know, NZ would turn in or it'll say Nick Zamelli. Wh whichever. So it will have something on there anyway. But the logos are proven to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to open up some more of these posts that has been around here for weeks now. And again, I am a little bit behind, so I do apologise for that as well. I've got one that was given to me at the show, and that is this one. Look at that. This is from Jim Overton from Jimson Stuff. You know him. If you don't, then you have to check him out. Jimson Stuff. This is made from just Milliput. Lots of different bits of Milliput. And he's got a video of this, I think. I think he's got a video of it. He might have. Might not. Of him making this. It's really cool. Um, so check that out. It's really, really quite smart, isn't it? So there's another pawn. Um, and I'm just going to open up a few of these bits of post. Again, we'll have to probably cut this into two sections, part one and part two, because it is going to drag on. And I don't want to drag it on, really. I want to try to... <laughs> I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> um, so I know some of you might think, no, that's fine, we don't, I won't get bored. But, you know, some of you probably will. And I, want to, I like to try to cater for everybody. I know that that's not ever going to happen. But um, 
if I can, where I can, I like to try to. So um, I'll try and rattle through some of these bits of post, open some of them up. Okay, so these are fairly recent parcels that I had sent in. So <coughs> as they're on the desk, I'll open these up quickly now. Um, I have no idea what these are. Please try and enclose my contribution to the chess piece challenge. Okay. A-H bespoke. A-B-H. A-H bespoke. Thanks again, Andy Heal. Again, I'm going to try to go through these fairly quickly. I'm sorry if they are a bit too quick, but... um. Whoa, look at this. Wow, look at that. Now that is a castle and a half, that isn't it? Can you see that? That is pretty neat. So he's coloured it in down the bottom there for the green grass, got his initials on the bottom. But that looks pretty smart. So there's another uh, rook. Is it rook? Castle? Rook. It's giving me something else in there as well. Oh, what's that? That is wicked. What is that? Not sure. I'll probably need to read this. I'll read the note and find out what that is, but that looks awesome. Whatever it is. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Right, so I had this one in the other day, and this is the tiny little box. Wow, look at that. That's another pawn. Nice. That's beautiful. This is from JR Turn It Around. There you go, JR Turn It Around. See you at Maker Central. Thanks for letting me be a part of this project, James. Thanks, James, buddy. That is awesome. Nice one putting your logo on the back in there. Now, I've got this big box here, so I'm going to open this one as it's on my desk. Banksia nuts. Are they called Banksia nuts? Back, 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 Anxia nuts? <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. Banksia nuts, I think. Something like that. There's three of them in here. Sweet. I'm not too sure. This, I think this looks like probably a chess piece in here. And I say, this is from... What's that? The Bearded Woodworker. The Bearded Woodworker, eh? That'd be me. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Whew! Look at that! What is that on there? Is that metal in there as well? Aluminium. This is a mixed bag, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Outrageous. It's got a massive mix of stuff in here. So it's good. it looks like it's got some aluminium in here as well, which is crazy. Mixed in with some, this Banksia nut and, I don't know, is that something else in there as well? A bit of, yeah. Yeah, so that's from this guy. Cheers, buddy. Some stickers for me wall as well. Australia. Sweet. Thanks so much, mate. That is really neat. And thanks so much for these. That is pretty awesome. I shall be uh, making something out of those soon. <laughs> and this one's from MX Woodworks. And it is my chess piece. Cheers, mate. Waffle on. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. It's a mixed bag of resin and, uh, well, I don't know what kind of wood that is, but some sort of burr wood, I think. Cheers, mate. Awesome. Right, and I've had this one for a while, and this one's from Pam. I know this logo. Pam from Highland Boxes. <laughs> Pam Harris. Cheers, Pam, for your sticker. Hey, hey, look at that. Whoa. Underneath. That is pretty neat. Look at that. Thanks so much, Pam. Look, you can just see through in there, look. That is awesome. That's Pam's pawn. <laughs> and that's another pawn. <laughs> this is going to be a funky looking chess board. <laughs> right, another one. I reckon I might have all the pieces here, actually. Possible we've got a full chess set. So this is from SK Crafts, Steve Curvell, is it? Steve Curvell. Steve, let's have a look what you got. 
Whoa! Look at that! That is absolutely crazy. Look at all the little stars in there. Hey? Wow. Now that does look funky. Now I got this one, I think given to me at Maker Central, I'm sure. Although I'm not quite, I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, I did, I think. Yeah, look at this. This is from Magic. Yeah. Magic Mike. Yeah. Look at this. How cool is that? So, another castle. Brilliant. Cheers, Magic. Magic. Magic Mike. From Handmade by MK. Hey, look at that. That is so cool. And look, it's actually, that's actually embedded inside there. That is, that's not put on the top. That's actually gone inside, I think. And then resin on top. But that looks neat. Really nice. I like that. Thanks for that, buddy. Keep that in there safe. Another one here. Looks like this one is from Colin... Lawton is it? Turn oh turned by Colin Lawton. Hey, look at that. Whoa, that is a bit special, isn't it? There's a ball bearing in there, look. Look at that. Nice logo, mate. Nice, nice, very nice logo. That's a beautiful piece. Does it undo or something? It turns around. How does it turn around? That's pretty awesome. It must have be oh it's got a screw I think in there and then goes up inside there. And allows it to spin around. That's brilliant. Cheers, Colin. <laughs> Prickly sauce. <laughs> I will read all these letters and things later on, but I'm just trying to Oh, look at that. Oh, chess piece. Wow. Okay, what's inside here, is it? God, this is detailed, isn't it? Wow. Look at this. Make a central chess piece challenge 2018. <laughs> oh, I think I pulled his head off. <laughs> Hey, look at this. That goes on there, obviously. And it's a little pawn. Look at that. That is neat. Really nice. I kind of don't really know what to do with this box now, though, because it's such a cool box. I don't really want to ditch the box, but I could keep that for myself, couldn't I, really? And this. But um, that is really detailed, mate. Thanks so much for that. That's brilliant. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I think that is all the chess pieces that I've got. Oh, actually, I did get another one. But I think this one might be a little bit too big for the chessboard. This is from The Wood Barber. Um, he did give me another one. I'm not sure if you did give me another one or not. I can't find it. But it's pretty cool. So I think that is all of them so far. I think Steve, actually, uh, from Temple Boy Turns has, has done one, but I don't think he gave it to me. If you did, Steve, then I don't know where it is. Actually, I'm thinking that you did keep it, because I think you did try and give it to me at Maker Central, but then you kept it and said you were going to send it in the post, I think. So if you could send it to me, that would be awesome. But so far, we've had some really cool pieces in, so thanks very much to everyone that's got involved. Actually, I've missed a bit of post off. This thing arrived a few weeks ago now. I think it's from my friend... Rene. Hey, look at that. A larger one. Nice. Another one in here. That is a pretty big gouge. Look at the size of it. Oh, a parting tool by the looks of things. Ah, and this is the little skew. Baby one. That is pretty sharp. These are really cool, Rene. Thanks very much for sending these down. Um, they are really, really sharp, and uh, I appreciate that. So I'll be uh, testing these out. 
at some point. I've also received some letters as well. We'll leave that for part two. So that's it for part one waffle. I hope some of you enjoyed that. Don't forget to come back for part two and also to talk to you a little bit more about what this is. See you soon.